I want to take some time today to introduce some new products in the nano arthroscopy line. In particular, I want to talk about this new 2.8 millimeter by 11 centimeter nano saber shaver that fits on this small hub handle. And I want to compare that to the four millimeter by 13 centimeter standard shaver, as well as the three millimeter by seven centimeter short handle dex shaver. So you can see that the length is intermediate between the two. The diameter on the nano saber is actually a little bit smaller than this dex shaver. The small hub handpiece is lighter in weight than the standard handpiece. And thus, when you're doing nano arthroscopy, there's a very natural weight distribution there. And it also allows for more dexterity and control. So you can hold it like a standard handpiece if you'd like, but it's light enough that you can actually hold it kind of like a pencil if you're really doing some fine resection work. The other thing I want to highlight is how well this pairs with the nano biters. So you've got our up angle biter and our straight biter. And you can see these resect a smaller diameter of tissue compared to a standard biter. With this smaller diameter biter, it pairs very well with this smaller diameter shaver. So we can very easily remove those resected fragments when we're doing nanoarthroscopy. I want to highlight a new uh, Apollo bipolar RF probe that's available. This is a little bit smaller than the one that we're all used to. Similar to the larger Apollo probe, it has that anatomic 50 degree curve to allow maneuvering in the joint space. But you can see this pairs really nicely with nanoarthroscopy. So it's going to have a similar weight distribution to it. And it's going to allow us to instrument those small, tight joints that will be very compatible with nanoarthroscopy. And for our small joint and nano applications, it's got optimized aspiration capabilities. And also it has a decreased power setting. So uh, you don't have to worry so much about increased temperature inside the joint. So here we have our nano saber. And we're going to introduce it, this into the joint. And you can see how I'm holding it like a pencil. This is actually very, uh, this is a very natural feel to it. There's a couple things to point out. The blade window is smooth uh, for smooth edges. And again, it's long enough that you can reach pathology in the back of the knee, given that it's 11 centimeter length. But it's also small enough that um, the incisions do not require sutures afterwards. In fact, you can't even see where I've made the, um, the small stab incision, but it's right there. We'll be able to just kind of push that right in the knee joint. The way that I can hold this, it's very ergonomic. Like I don't have to hold it like this and have my elbow up in the air. I can hold it like a pencil with my elbows down, and this is actually very easy to do. So we've got the SJ50 in the joint now. You know, I can hold this very ergonomically. Like, you know, I can hold this like a pencil. I don't have to kind of hold it like this with my elbow up in the air. I can hold it with my elbow down, and that makes it very easy and comfortable to use.